Hi, today we are going to see how to prepare Kos Malli Chutney. Required ingredients are eggplant, seven numbers, half a cup chopped onions and one green chilli, cumin seeds, one teaspoon, turmeric, one to two teaspoon, uradala split lentil, two teaspoons, tamarind paste, half to one tablespoon. Depending on how tangy you want it to be, you can add your tamarind paste. Take another half a cup of onion separately with one dried red chilli. This is for seasoning. Boil the brinjols or eggplant with a pinch of salt. I am going to pressure cook it for 3 whistles. Peel the skin of the cooked brinjol or eggplant. Now chop all the cooked eggplants. Slip the green chilli and remove the seeds and add it to the eggplant. These seeds when cooked with the tamarind chutney enhances the taste of the dish. Now add the eggplant, the onions and the chilies to a chopper and chop it. It should be coarse and not finely chopped. Add half a cup or one cup of water to the tamarind paste, add salt and prepare the tamarind water. Assess the taste of the tamarind water. See that the tanginess and the salt has got the right ratio. Add turmeric. Now add this tamarind water to the eggplant uh, chopped mixture. Give it a mix. Now that the chutney mixture is ready, let's see how to prepare it. Add about 1 to 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Add the urad dal. Wait for it to turn golden brown. Add the cumin seeds now, mix it, add the dried red chilli, half a cup of onions, give it a mix, don't wait for long because we want it to be crunchy, add the curry leaves now, mix it. Add the chutney mixture now. Wait for it to come to a boil. I'm going to add a cup of water because I want it to have the running consistency for the chutney. Check for the taste. This should be the consistency of the chutney. Add salt if required. Now it's come to a boil and it is ready. Your chutney is ready now. This chutney can be had either with idlis or with dosa. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please post your feedback. Thank you for watching.